Now I've got to adapt this wheel to this thing here and this uh, washer here goes on like this and then the wheel goes on and then this washer goes on the top. Now this hole in the middle is 5 8 and uh, it says 20 millimeter arbor. Well I've got to uh, come over here and I've got to cut a, an adapter right here. And now this adapter is going to be approximately one eighth of an inch, a little bit over, because um, that's how the how thick the uh, wheel is, and the depression in both of these washers. If you look at this washer. It's got a depressed area in it. So that area has to uh, have some sort of a uh, washer in it, not only to adapt this hole right here um, for the shaft that's on that arbor. So this washer that's got to go in there it's going to have to be one-eighth approximately therefore you take one divide it by eight and you get your answer this equals one hundred twenty-five thousandths now if you're going to have dial calipers, one of the things that you have to watch out for is that this, in this particular case, I've got the calipers all the way closed. Another thing you have to do, clean off any chips that are on these arms right here, close it, and see if it's at zero. Now it's about a thousandth off. Oh, that's good enough for my work. All right, now we're going to set these. Here's how you set it at a hundred and twenty-five thousandths or a hundred thirty-five thousandths. First of all, that's right there, a hundred. I believe we're going to go to 145, so right there. So that's 20 thousandths um, right there is 20 thousandths, so maybe I better go a little bit more. 45, 55. We'll go right there. Okay, now I took a uh, black Sharpie and marked all of this all the way around. So now I'm going to take these calipers and going to register this leg right here on the edge. And then this leg right here on this side is going to make a mark. Uh, the mark is very fine and small, but it is still on there. Now you have to turn it a little bit. You can't uh, put too much pressure on this vise here 
because it'll crush it. Just, just add a, a little bit at a time. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's secure it a little bit more. Now this isn't going to be exact because this whole thing is extremely heavy and I think I'm going to switch to my other grinder. Well, this grinder is a little bit lighter and it's got this metal, wood, concrete cutting blade on it. Okay, I tried this washer on there, and the spacer is on there, and this disc fits on there perfect, and then this washer goes on, and then this nut. I have to, uh, Put this pair of vice grips on here. Now, well, this center shaft keeps turning, so now I'm going to try it with the vice grips on there. Hopefully, the threads will be okay.
kind of hard to hear it. Very quiet. Okay, first of all, I'm going to make a handle for this. And I'm going to measure this at 2 and 5 eighths. So I'm going to have to drill one hole 2 and 5 eighths. I'm going to use this one for that. So I have to get my drill bit ready. This is called Powell Ferro. And first of all, to make my handle, I take this and it, I don't have to do any measuring. Just take this, put it in there like this. All right, now when I cut this piece, it's going to be exactly what I need. Exactly the width that I need. exactly how I want it. Try to get it straight up and down if you can. I'm going to take my white pencil, take this, and go corner to corner. Just lay it, it on there, close to where you want it. Remember the width of the pencil. Okay, now I'll make another mark. Corner to corner. Remember the width of the pencil. Make another mark. Okay, now I'm going to drill. Now I have to measure. I'm going to go two and, let's see here, exactly what it was. inch and five-eighths. So now take this drill bit, measure it, inch and five-eighths. I'll make it an inch and a half. So it's right just remember where it is right to where this last flute is. Now I'm going to drill it Put it in the center, get it started, and then go back and forth between east and west and north and south. Get it right in the center. Next, I'm going to eyeball the width of it, this file, right here. All right, next I'm going to go to a bigger one. I'm going to go to this one here. I don't know what size it is, it looks like it's pretty close. Alright, now I'm going to take another measurement. Alright, this one, I'm going to go about three quarter. So measure where the three quarter mark is.
top of the second flute. Again, although it will follow the path that the other one took, I'm going to go side to side, north to south, north and south, east to west. Now this one, I want to go over just a little bit. Right to the second flute. Now I'm going to light this torch. I'm going to put the vice grips on here. I'm not going to um, squeeze them too tight. Okay, now I'm going to heat this up. Try to heat it evenly, both sides. And if you're heating something, the tip is the very most hot part of the flame. and tap it. Hey, that's good enough. <laughs> 